Question 2. P.S. Machine M takes 6 hours to do X amount of work. If M does 2 over 3 of the X amount of work, and the rest of the work is done by machine N that works 1 over 15 the speed of M, what is the total amount of time taken to do X amount of work? Solution First property of work rate. Importance of units. Units are important while solving questions of work rate. Therefore, the units should be changed as needed. Let the rate of work be R. If the time taken to do a work, W, is T, then R times T equals W, or R equals work done over time, which equals W over T. We have two machines, M and N, with different work rates. Let's check each one. Machine M. It takes six hours to do X amount of work. So, the rate equals X over six per hour, which equals X per six hours. But we're looking for two over three of work. So multiply both numerator and denominator of fraction X over six by two over three. Then we have two over three times X over two over three times six hours, which equals two over three times X over four hours. Thus, machine M takes four hours to complete its share of the work. Machine N. The rate of machine N is 1 over 15 of that of machine M. So 1 over 15 times X over 6 per hour equals X over 90 per hour, which equals X per 90 hours. But only remaining 1 minus 2 over 3 equals 1 over 3 of work is done by machine N. So multiply both numerator and denominator of fraction X over 90 by 1 over 3. Then, 1 over 3 times x over 1 over 3 times 90 hours equals 1 over 3 times x over 30 hours. Thus, machine N takes 30 hours to complete the remaining work. Units are important, so remember to change the units by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Therefore, the total time taken to complete the work equals 4 hours plus 30 hours, which equals 34 hours. And we get C as the correct answer. A chart of the entire process is below. You need to add the hours because the question is asking for the total time taken. Answer, C.